1370 WOCA. Ocala. Five minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Kelly Hart is in the studio. This is Ocala Magazine Radio. Kelly is the executive editor of Ocala Magazine. This is one of the writers over there. She is innovative, open-minded, strong-willed, effervescent. I thought I'd come up with some new adjectives Thank today. So. Those are all good ones. And a mother. Yes. So, which isn't an adjective, but uh, no. well, ha- happy Mother's Day and, and good morning, you. Kelly. How you doing? Thanks. I'm fantastic. How are you? Pretty good. Great. So Mother's Day, you got plans? Yes, I do have plans. In fact, my whole day is pretty much filled with activities, which is exciting. My niece, my youngest niece, Madison, is being dedicated Sunday morning. So, of course, our family is going to be involved at church and do the dedication service, which okay. is a lot of fun. And of course, you know, my sister has mother-in-law to go and see and and my mom has moms to go and see. So we'll kind of dissipate throughout the day, but then we're going to all go to Symphony Under the Stars together. Oh, nice. Nights. I'm really excited good, about good, that. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Ocala Magazine is the official uh, city magazine of FAFO this year. Oh, so nice. Okay. we've partnered with them, so we're very excited. Very excited. So I've never gone to the Symphony Under the Stars. Is it you sit on the on the ground? How it's, do you fa- it's fantastic. Yeah. So it's it's at the golf course. Of course, you you know you're familiar with that type of turf. So right, it's very right. nice and soft. And so you bring your blankets or your lawn chairs and your picnic baskets yeah. and wine and okay. yeah, whatever you want to do and bring your children. And so you set out blankets and make a night of it. Then you watch it's Matthew a, and his gang. Yes, and it's so much <laughs> fun. It, it it is. It's very very nice. And you you know you're going to run into a hundred or so people that you know and be able to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. So, so a little curveball, I don't mean to, it to be, but do you happen to know what the history is, is of the uh, Symphony Under the Stars? How long has it been going on? I and have no, no idea. No idea? No I don't idea. either. No idea at all. Uh, no, I don't. I know, but I know it's been quite And everybody was brags about it. Everybody was loves it. It's just something I've never done, so... Well, then maybe this is the year. We should go out. (laughs) We should definitely go out. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We'll be giving away some tickets today for Symphony Under the Stars on our Facebook page. So make sure that you like us on Facebook so you can have an opportunity to get tickets so you can take mom. It really is lovely. I mean, unless you have some other pressing plans, if you're still deciding, Mm -hmm. you should really consider Hmm. the symphony. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely. And speaking of lovely... It's a segue into our new issue this month that just came out this morning. So, in fact, see. on the way here, I stopped by ah. so I could pick up our who's the, who's the model? May issue. I always ask who the model is. Her name is Lexis. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to butcher her last name. Okay. Photo Enioma. Photo wow. Maybe Enioma uh, means genic. I don't know. Is she photogenic? Photogenic. <laughs> I, I'm going to look. It's Phono Emoana. Okay. Okay. What don't is ask that? me again. Is that I nationality? Have you no know? idea. You know? it, I don't even want to take a guess. <laughs> but she's lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous. She's 15 years old. No way. Yes way. That's a 15 year old girl. Yes. Yes. Does and she I, look 15 in person? No. She's tall. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. She is. Wow. Blows my mind. But she's as sweet and as innocent and kind as a 15 year old would be. Wow. Yes. Yes, she's lovely. She is just as beautiful in person as she is. So Nice. Yes, I know. I, I mean, just a beautiful young lady. And so I always, as soon as I present the, the cover to a grown man, I make sure to say, and she's 15, before he unravels a bunch of... Um, Suggest- it's, suggestive it's, it's things. Suggestive compliments, let's really? just say. Really? Yes. Well, I wasn't going there. No. Well, I we're on the radio, but... I have shown the cover <laughs> to, to some other gentlemen, and, and they, they say, they've started to go, whoa. I'm like, hold on now. Hoo-wee. Hold on. Yeah, you treat a 15-year-old like your sister. So can, can, can you see me, show it to me again? Yes. Let me see. Yes. Wow. Right? Gorgeous. Wow. I, is she, like, hot in school, like all the guys are asking her out and that kind of stuff? I would hope Does so. She... I actually think she's homeschooled now. Um, I don't blame her. Parents. Yeah, long story very short. Parents. And without going into her, you know, privacy or anything like that, but because she is so stunning and beautiful, there was some bullying going on. 
and that she had to deal with. Oh, and man. so I know, but it's the case. And so um, now she does the homeschool thing. Wow. Did you see this one model decided that modeling wasn't as, as exciting as boxing, and so she's now a professional female boxer? Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed that she has the ability to choose one or the other. I would love to, ha- I would love to wake up in the morning and, and have that problem. Mm. Oh, should I be a model today or a professional <laughs> boxer? Hmm. Well, you know, what it, you know what it has done for writers like yourself? The, the word knockout applies to a pretty woman and to a boxer. That's so. right. I bet the headlines yeah, are that's all, a, all a buzz. Well, that would the, be what, fun. I've only seen one headline, but they're definitely using that word knockout. Sure. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Yeah, she's fantastic. She was the absolute perfect choice for our company. Cover. And it's a fantastic issue. So it's there's a lot of different little tidbits that revolve around Mother's Day, of course. Uh, and then there's also a really great story that I had the pleasure of being able to write. And it was all in perfect timing um, because, you know, the NFL draft happened and it happened right at the end of the month where uh-huh. other publications had already planned, you know, planned their issue and had gone to press. Well, you know, we always kind of stack our delivery a week pr- after everybody else. Okay. You know, with, with some strategy there. But it worked out for me because the draft happened and Ocala's P.J. Williams got drafted to the New Orleans Saints. Oh, okay. And so I still had that little opportunity to reach out to him and speak to him and his mom, his agent, and a few people involved and was able to throw that story together in a timely manner so that it's I- included in our May issue. That which is, is a cool. lot of How fun. How excited was yeah. he? Oh, he was super excited, and it was really a lot of fun because we met with him about two months ago. How old is he? He is fresh out of college, so okay. what does that make okay. him, like 21 20? maybe? Yeah, okay. So um, we met with him about two months ago. There was already a lot of talk about him being drafted, and, of course, we wanted to make sure we got our hands on him before he disappeared. We had him come to the magazine and, and take some pictures, and I was able to sit down and interview him and talk to him about how he got started in football and what his in, what his expectations were in the NFL and things of that nature. Talked to him a lot about charity, given the opportunity with that kind of success right, and money, right. and then was able, after the draft, all I was waiting on was just to find out who was going to take him, and then I was able to wrap it up. So it was really in great timing. Do you timing. not tell us on the radio? Oh, we have to read it. Oh no no no! He was he was drafted by the New Orleans Saints. Okay. Uh, he was drafted in the third round. I think it was seventy eighth pick or something. Okay. Um, very very excited. Everybody was kind of thinking Dallas, and that was the the word on the street was Dallas. But uh, we were all fooled. It was the New Orleans Saints. So. Hmm. Yes. So it's been fun to communicate with his mom and and how excited she is, of course, for her son and follow them on Facebook, and they're already decked out in their black and gold which is so for, for for sports guys sports is exciting all the time it's just like for horse racing it's always exciting for the horse people but mm-hmm. for me it's more exciting when i have a connection like like um we had that those a uh, couple of young athletes in the olympics we have horses all the every now and then in right, these major right. races and uh, nfl people right you know so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stellar it athletes. makes it more exciting for the because i'm not sure. really that much into any of that stuff mm-hmm. but i become into it because of them well right yeah the, i the mean local i'm going to watch i mean i'm already a football fan by nature i love football i follow football anyways on my own but obviously not necessarily a new orleans fan because okay. why would I right. need to be? Right. Well, now I have a need. So sure. yeah. that doesn't mean that I'm going to become a diehard saint and pull for them over my own team. But if they're not playing against one another, I'll definitely be pulling for PJ because he's be a cool, an Ocala be boy. A cool, um, what do you call it? Moniker. A diehard saint. A diehard saint. I mean, that's kinda... I'll show you his picture. It turned out really nice. You know, Ocala Magazine has a reputation for class and for quality. And so we didn't want to go the traditional get in a jersey you know okay hold a football so what did you do? kind of an athlete thing so we took a very lovely picture of pj pj oh wow he's right? a good looking guy isn't he handsome yeah and that was a just, smart move i think just to, a to, lovely to, but you put that that uh logo behind him so we know what this is about right of course see so we were waiting on this we were anticipating what was going to happen because we didn't know what logo nice. would end up being back Well, good there. for him. So, that's, yeah. uh, that's exciting. So it was, really, it was really a lot of fun to talk to him and to watch a young man be so excited about his future and, and get to kind of watch it unfold right in front of us. Kelly, we're at the middle. We need to take a break. Okay. So we'll do that right now. We'll be right back with Kelly Hart. This is The Source, WOCA. You're listening to Ocala Magazine Radio. 
Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Hardly sunny today, a high of 85 to 89. Tonight will stay mainly clear, a low of 63 to 68. Partly sunny, stays warm tomorrow, a high of 87 to 92. And sunny to partly cloudy, warm for Mother's Day Sunday, high 89 to 93. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. Is your credit headed in the wrong direction? If so, Florida Credit Union can help turn it around. If the signs are reading, missing payments, maxing out cards, or borrowing from financing companies, it's time to steer your credit to safety. Pull into a Florida Credit Union today and let us help you map out a personalized credit management plan. Get a free credit report analysis and advice to help you consolidate wisely. A better plan can get you to a better place. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. If your toddler seems to end up wearing more of their food than they eat, don't freak. Messy eaters, we now know. They tend to pick up languages more easily. Instead, our biggest dementia risk boils down to the foods we eat. Stay away from red meat, butter, sweets, and fried food. If you're trying to make a good impression on a man, do not worry about small flaws in your appearance like a chipped fingernail or a stain on your shirt because chances are he won't even notice. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. All right, 18 minutes after 10 o'clock, Kelly Hart is here. This is uh, the portion of the show called Ocala Magazine Radio. And uh, we learned about two features in this month's magazine, the, the beautiful 15-year-old girl on the cover and, Gorgeous, then, and yes. then the handsome young man that just joined the NFL. Yes, PJ Williams. PJ. We have a lot of really great information in this month's issue. For example, we've got a, a feature on canine care. Uh, our food editor, Jill Fink, actually took on a feature this month, and it's fantastic, and it does cover a lot of interesting information about owning dogs. And, uh-huh. you know, we often just will give them what's left over from our meal or things in our refrigerator, and she really broke down what's safe and what's not for our pets. And oh, I, was, really? I was kind of surprised. Yeah, and we even made it, along with the feature, we kind of did a, a numbered list of things that are actually very toxic to, to your dogs. And so... Anything surprising in that list? There was, like, baby food. I was kind of surprised about baby okay. food. Because no I good, thought, huh? well, if baby food is safe for a baby, then why wouldn't it be safe for wow. my dog? I wouldn't have guessed that. But, you know, there are things that are meant for humans that are simply not meant for our pets. And so uh, even, like, cat food, you know, if cat you have a cat no good for a dog? and you have a dog, you can put their food out together, and chances are they might cross. Right. cross. You can't do that? I did that all the time with my no, dog. No, it, she says it's too high in protein and fats for you oh. to be good for your dog. Do you know, so. do you know what I heard? Like, like with a, a dog food, we'll sometimes have cereal mixed in, which they say is no good, but it's really no good for a cat. A cat has to have pure meat. Wow. See, yeah, I mean, there are things I don't even think about. I mean... So vegetarians must not own a cat. I guess not. Because if you don't want to eat any meat, then you don't want to feed your animal any meat. Right. Yeah. How how are you going to do that with your cat? I don't know. Your dog could probably get away with it. I don't know. Maybe just don't have a dog. Do you have a dog? I don't know. Yeah, I do. I have a dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a Lassapoo. A Lassapoo? Mm-hmm. 
Yes. So uh, La Sapsa and a poodle, and he's fabulous. He looks like a little oh, I see. Okay. teddy bear, non-shed, okay. just the perfect uh, perfect little <laughs> pup for us. So so as I was reading this, of course, because I own a, I, I own a dog myself, I was very interested in this list. My and dog fits that description. Lots of poo. <laughs> oh, yeah? What, do yeah. you have an English bulldog? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, she's part pit bull. And, yeah. yeah, she's oh, so, okay, definitely yeah. lots of poo. Yeah, I got you there. Yeah, yeah it's a very helpful list. Uh, so pick up, an, pick up a, a, a May issue and check that out, especially even if you don't own a dog. It's really good information. I just think it's good good knowledge to, to know. Yeah, yeah. And then we also have... Oh, that's a cute picture of the dog right isn't there. Isn't it cute? Yeah, yeah. There's, and look at this one with the English <laughs> bulldog. Yeah. They're so cute. I love those guys. And then we have an article that Maritza wrote. She is our, she always does our medical journal every month, but then she also decided because she, she has a personal interest in holistic health. And I wasn't even aware until just a general conversation with her. Huh. So she wrote a really interesting article on things such as acupuncture and cupping and meditation. Cupping? What's cupping? Cupping. Is that like spooning? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I wish spooning healed. But anyways. <laughs> so there's a picture on, there's a picture in the what, issue. What is cupping? <laughs> that Chris took. I think spooning does heal, by the way. Well, I wouldn't know, so. You wouldn't know. No, not lately anyways. Let me see. But that's a, that's oh, a, that's where they put the hot rocks show. on your body? So they put these cups, like a suction type Oh, there's type a cup. cup. What, is that a human body right That there? is a human body, so it's down the spine. Did you and guys take that picture? Yes. Oh, okay. Chris went and took the picture. Erica Olstein, who is a friend of oh, the station. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, Dr. Erica, helped us out with this article. And, yeah, so it's very interesting. And so what it does is it there's suction. What are those, wine glasses? No. I don't, they're, they look kind of like wine glasses. Yeah, yeah. No, this is not that much fun. It's, I don't know what they're made out of. Did you try this? I wasn't this? there. No. Did you didn't get cupped? No. And it leaves, um... Welts? I'm making this sound terrible, but it's not. It's actually very, very good for you. But it does. It leaves, so it, it like draws your skin into these cups. And then when you're done, it's like a huge mosquito bite, like no, a hickey that's looking. That's crazy. I know it is crazy. And what's it do for you? <laughs> well, you'll have to read the article. Oh, come on. No. Give us a hint. No. What does it do? Does that make you feel better? It, it, it does. Does it yeah, remove the toxins? So that's, yes, it's along those lines. So it removes toxins in the body. And right on along the spine line. Well, I'm sure based on what whatever like. your ailment is, is oh. Dr. Erica knows which which area. <laughs> so when Chris went in to take the pictures. So you can be cupped anywhere on your body? I guess. Wow. I know. That's a cool Sounds thought. Sounds dangerous. Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. What, part, what part's ailing you? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. When Chris went in, she asked him if he had any kind of ailment, and he had some pain in his knee, so I guess she worked on his knee a little bit. She put a suction cup on his knee? I, yeah, and he came in and he had these round, red, the most bizarre Did looking it feel marks better? Did it feel better? His, well, he came in directly after the shoot. So at that point, we wouldn't know. And I haven't followed up to see if his you know, I had knee a, is feeling I had better. a faith healing of my knee. A faith healing. I absolutely did. I'm not making it up. And it worked. It worked. And it worked. Yes. Not instantly, but like a week later. And I had the pain for like for a few years. Wow. I, mean, I won't take up your time telling That's the story. That's amazing, but though. But just, I can do it in 10 seconds. That's amazing. So. I had this pain in my knee. I mean, really bad pain. Okay. Went to the doctor. They, I can't figure anything out. Went to church one time, and the pastor said, we're going to have a faith healing. Put your hand on the part of your body you want to heal. We'll say a prayer. My pain was so bad, I used to put it in the right passenger side of the car and then actually use my left foot to drive. So then, anyway, so I said this prayer, went out after church, got in my car, and I could still feel the pain. I said, well, I guess that didn't work. But about a week later, I noticed I wasn't stretching my leg out anymore. It was absolutely gone, Get and out. it's been gone ever since. Well, praise Jesus. No cupping. I believe it. I'm, a, I, you know, I, I'm a believer. I believe in stuff like that. Not everybody does. And I, and I don't I think do. believing in it is what healed it, because I, I, I think I was doubting more than I was believing. If you could measure doubt and 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 Some belief faith. would have to be involved, right? I well, mean, if there happened to be a non-believer in that I must church, have had a small amount of faith in order to just say, okay, Well, did you I'll put your hand on your knee? Yeah. So you had some amount of faith, I right? I guess so. Because if you hadn't, you'd have been like, I'm not even going to put my hand on my knee. That's aren't you, aren't true. Aren't you glad you did? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great story. Oh, gosh. I got to share with you. We, yesterday, two days ago was the day of prayer, whatever. Yesterday, two days? Yesterday okay. was so, the national day of so prayer. So we had these beautiful stories of, of prayers that were answered. And uh, 
Gosh, I'll share them with you. I don't want to take up your time, but I'll, that's awesome. I, I, have them I saw it downtown. Somewhere. I saw all the tents right? and everything set up downtown, and that's when I realized that it was a national. Day oh, can I tell you one that I remember real yes, quickly? Yes, please. All right, this was like um, I guess where Mother Teresa was at this time, and they were getting ready to feed the kids, and there was not enough flour to make the pancakes, and so the woman in charge of making the pancakes she had said to Mother Teresa, "We don't have enough flour." So Mother Teresa says, we'll go to the chapel and tell Jesus we don't have enough, and that takes care of that problem. Now, what else do we have to deal with? And the, so the lady was like, you're kidding. That's how we're solving it? Yes. So she goes to the chapel. She does what Mother Teresa says. A, like a half hour later, this guy comes and he says, the teachers are on strike. We have all these lunches. Is there any, any, could you use any of these lunches? We've got 7,000 lunches. Can you believe it? Like, it, like just like that, awesome. the, the prayer was answered. Like a half hour later. And, and what I love about that, and what I love about that is, you know, sometimes we pray and then we don't get exactly what we thought we were praying for. Yeah, they didn't get flour. They right. just got lunches. They didn't get flour, but that was, it was the provision that right. they were praying for. Right. That's right. so awesome. So, you know, prayer is awesome, I think. I'll have to Anyways. share that. Do you have a Kindle? No, oh, you I don't. don't. Okay. No. Because I can share Kindle books on kin with other Kindle people. Really? Yeah. Well, you can just tell me the names. I'm a, I, like, I like to read actual books. Okay. I like to make notes. Like, 101 inspirational that. stories. That's awesome. Like that. That's great. Um, please share that with me. That's very interesting. Um, so we ha so our holistic health feature is really interesting for people that are looking for ways to heal their body and to make themselves feel better without using medications because a lot of people do have issues with medications. I'm one of those people. I very seldom will take any type of medication. Uh, I just feel like our body has a way of feeling better and we can achieve that through, you know, exercise, diet and right. sleeping and that even like a little bit of caffeine here and there will help some certain things. So for me to take even just like an Excedrin migraine, sometimes it'll upset my stomach because when you don't take anything, it, it can become kind of potent. So there are people that do have issues and go the holistic route. And I certainly learned a lot that I never even knew about these types of things. They're very interesting. Right in the I magazine. went in for acupuncture myself with Dr. Erica. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Isn't and she was, sweet? Oh my! Doesn't she have the best giggle? She is. Just, she's always so ha like you can't even like I yeah, can't look. Yeah. I can't even talk about her without smiling. Yeah, she's yeah, just always yeah. smiling and happy. So even if you go in and don't get anything, you leave happy because she's just, just so yeah, happy. Just, just, just hang she's out with so her fantastic. for a while. Yeah. Yes. So the book is wonderful, just an absolute wonderful book. Make sure you pick up your May issue of Ocala Magazine and like us on Facebook because we have a lot of things going on. Our 40 Under 40 uh, will be announced in our July issue, but we are still accepting submissions through May 15th. You know, you had Dan in there one year. He's he's now 40, so you can't have him nope, in there anymore. Too bad. Well, and once once you've been selected, it's it's kind of a one-time well, shot. Well, you might have a 50 under 50. He's got a good well, nine years. One day, we may. We, we, we really <laughs> might. So the good news is, even though every single year we pick 40 people, it's really not that difficult to pick 40 more. I mean, it does get a little bit difficult when you're the same person picking because you're, you're kind of thinking of those same movers and shakers. But right, there's right, so right, many right. awesome people in our community that... Sincerely, when you sit down to and, think about it, they're out there. P.S. Just a little, t I want to tell you something. The other day we had some nurses in here. Actually, it was on the day, the nurses' day. Okay. Okay. And they had a great time at your event. Oh, awesome. I, I asked them if they went to your event, and they had, so. Fantastic. Yeah. We do have some pictures from that event in our limelight section, as well as a page thanking our restaurant sponsors. And uh, it, it's just a fantastic issue. You know, I, it, it's special to me because my editor's note this month is, is two mothers and I was able to change my picture this month and include a picture of Lillian and I. See, so that's see. very sweet. So that's special. Definitely special for me. And our at home with section that we do monthly uh, was an invitation into my mom's home. So, oh, so really? her home is in there. So oh, there we nice. are. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. It's a of course, you know how I am about my, about my baby. So um, please pick up a May issue. Thank you to everyone that supports Ocala Magazine. Like us on Facebook and bring mom to the symphony this weekend. I think it'll be lovely. Beautiful. Thank you, Kelly. Have, Thank a, you. have a great Mother's Day. Thanks, Larry. Thanks. We will be right back. Everybody tell me how the rock and roll, the rock and roll. 